welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Colleen and this is Lock of Me Stitches and this is Floss Tube number 24. So happy Friday. Uh, not my usual day that I tape, but I don't think that there is a usual day anymore. Um, but I am at some point going to try and get back on track. Um, but yeah, so um, beautiful day here in Texas. Um, it's been a little bit overcast, but um, so maybe the light's going to, so one minute it's sunny and then the next minute it's kind of cloudy and hazy, but, but we'll make do. And, um, yeah, so last week I went home to visit my family, so I was gone for a week. And, um, actually only six days because I had a little snafu on my first day. But, um, I got back on track, and then coming back home I didn't get caught up in all those, um, flight cancellations. I was so grateful because I have been stuck in the Austin airport before for, like, three full days, and it was awful. <laughs> so I was grateful that I got in and got out. But, yeah, it's always nice to go home. Um, it's always a little bittersweet because it goes by too fast, and but it's so nice to see everybody. And I just like that feeling of being at home. Um, you know, being in the military, we move around a lot, and so Texas is my home. Um, but there's no other feeling than going back to like where you grew up and the roads are familiar and everything just has that feeling of home. I don't even honestly know how to describe it, but it's a feeling. But yeah, so it was so awesome. Um, so yeah, to everybody I got to spend time with, um, it was great. And I miss everybody already. So, but yeah, so this week, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff to show. Um, I only am going to show one of my cross stitch finishes. I'm not going to show any works in progress today because, um, I am going to do a whip parade later. So I'm going to pull down all my whips and all of my UFOs and do a little parade. So maybe that will entice me to get some of those UFOs moving. Um, because I don't want to give up on them, but um, they're, they've been up there waiting for a while. So yeah. So before I start really quick, I just want to mention um, last two weeks ago when I filmed, um, I did mention this past Tuesday was my 50th birthday. So um, yeah, half a century, right? Um, but 50 feels great. I'm, I'm good with it. Um, in the past, I've probably always lied about my age. Like I always went with what the market will bear. So if somebody said, how old are you? It's like, well, how old do you think? If it was anything under 50, I went with it. Um, but yeah, so I definitely just turned 50. And so what I decided to do this year uh, for my 50th birthday is I um, in, chose a charity on Facebook um, to raise donations for. And I chose um, an animal charity and it's called This Is Houston and they are based over in Houston, Texas. And I have followed them on Instagram for quite a while. Um, and I'll put a link below to their Instagram. Um, and just a word of warning, um, I personally have to be in a certain mood to look at their page because otherwise I end up in a sobbing puddle of tears. Um, some of the things that people can do to animals, um, it's horrible and I have no idea like how, how they can do that. But um, everybody's wired different, I guess. But um, they're a wonderful organization. Um, not to take away of any other animal rescue. Um, they're all awesome. Um, the people that can do that work day in and day out. Um, it's it, I would probably be crying every day because it would just be so hard on me. But what I can do is help these people that do this every day and support them in like having to deal with some of the things that they have to deal with. So yeah, so I'm almost to my goal. Um, I've been doing really good and I really thank everybody, um, my friends and family that have helped me raise money for them. 100% um, of the proceeds, whatever you donate goes straight to them. So that's really nice. And um, later today, I'm also gonna set up a um, folder on my Facebook and it'll be public um, that I'm gonna sell off some of my stash to try and raise the rest of the amount. Um, so if you would rather do that, um, some people want something in exchange, all the money that I get from my stash is going to go to This Is Houston. So if you, just even a dollar, um, it doesn't have to be any great amount. Every dollar really does help. Um, if a hundred people give a dollar, that's a hundred dollars that they can use towards saving a puppy or getting it the shots that it needs or um, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm super grateful if you can help um, or if you want to buy something in in exchange um, for a donation That's awesome, too, but I just wanted to mention really quick So I will put the links below and um, yeah, thanks for helping me reach my birthday goal because like I said um, it's, a, it's something that's near and dear to my heart and obviously I have two little meatballs of my own that um, You know, I I could never imagine doing like some of the things that people do to these two little guys so but yeah, so okay, on a lighter note, well, let's get started. Um, so the first thing, the only cross-stitch finish that I have this week, um, it's a gift. So um, 
this year I've tried to stitch gifts for people um, just to give away. I don't really have anybody to give my stuff to someday. So I've been trying to be really good about like giving people stuff that I make or whatever. So um, for my stepmom's birthday, um, this was the pattern. It was called Marion the Librarian. Um, and she was a lifelong librarian. So I obviously instead of it saying Marion, it says her name. But um, I did make a few changes. The dress in the original pattern is yellow and I changed it to blue. And then I actually stitched the polka dots in her dress. And then um, right here you can see the bookmark, instead of stitching it, um, I used a piece of silk ribbon um, to, to be in the book. And then I just put the initials of the high school and the years that she worked there. So yeah, so I'm going to get this one framed up and oops, try to get it in the mail this week. But yeah, that was my only finish. But actually, I only started this like three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago. So I'm, my needle was kind of flying on that one. So everything kind of got pushed to the side. So I'm definitely behind on my monthlies. And then when I do my work works in progress parade, I'll kind of catch up where I'm at with my one a week challenge. Cause I'm a little bit behind, but I'm getting there. So yeah, so that was my only finish, um, for this week. But so probably next week when I do, um, a floss tube, I'll have that one framed up cause I need to get it in the mail. But yeah, so while I was at home, um, we did stop like at a couple antique shops and, um, <clears throat> the courthouse, by my parents house um, they do junk sales so people donate like leftover rummage and stuff like that um, for them to sell to raise money for their courthouse and um, so yeah there's always fantastic finds so I ended up picking up um, uh, like almost 20 packages of Mill Hill beads like all different colors so that was a total score <clears throat> and then um, the other thing that they picked up for me um, from one of their um, uh, sales was like an old shaker box and it's pretty good size. It's probably about six or seven inches tall, but it's nice and heavy. So I think what I'll do is I'll find something to stitch on the top and then probably paint something to kind of like mirror what's on the top. And then um, later this week, this weekend I think, I'm gonna do a finishes parade. So everything that I framed and finished up till this point this year. And then um, while I was at home, I took pictures of stuff that I like stitched like going way back to like the 90s and stuff. So I have a whole bunch of stuff to show there. Um, so I'll show a couple pieces that I didn't frame but like finished out something similar to this. So um, yeah, so I'll have to go like maybe either more stash shopping or through my own stash to see what I have that would fit like oval, oval sides up there. Or if you know of a good pattern that is kind of like oval shape, yeah, just drop it in the comments below because I'm on the lookout for something to stitch for the top of that now. So, and then, yeah, so the other thing that I got while I was at home and a couple things came in the mail, um, this was a birthday gift. So it's a bee needle minder and I'll put the name of the shop. I don't know if I can see it's at Zuleifa, um, miniatures, but they have two shops on Etsy, but, um, really super cute bee needle minder. So that'll be fun to add to my collection. And then, um, I also got two more. Um, I'm a huge dinosaurs person so I love to read about dinosaurs watch like documentaries about prehistoric or whatever and of course Jurassic Park I have definitely watched the first one over a hundred times if like it comes on on TV I just turn it on because <laughs> I just like it so yeah so I and this was a needle minder I got so it's the Jurassic Park logo it's kind of hard to see sorry um but yeah and then there's a little red button on the back and then the other one that I got is a little dinosaur and it's kind of an honor of my recent graduation. So he's wearing a, like a little mortar board and he's carrying a whole bunch of books on his back. So I thought that was just super cute. So yeah, so those are really all my only stash that came in the mail. And like I said, the other one was a gift. But this is the other thing I wanted to show. Um, while I was at home, we were kind of like antique shopping and I picked up a couple things, but um, like, I'm one of those people, so I see something, and I'm like, oh, I know, I have a good idea for that. And then I'll, like, second-guess myself and be like, no, I'll put it back. And then, if I don't buy something, when I get home, I think, why didn't I buy that? I should have bought that. Like, it just consumes my brain for a couple of days, like, if I didn't end up getting it. So, I almost passed this up, but I ended up buying it. So, it was only $5, but it was just, like, a, it's a little metal tray. So, I don't even know what it's made out of tin, maybe. But it's pretty heavy. But what I think I'm going to do with this is I'll find like a, um, like one of those sticky hangers to put on the back. So, or maybe it'll sit up in an easel. I'm not sure yet. But what I think I'm going to do is paint it and then rub it so some of the metal shows through. Um, but it might just depend on what I find to go in, in it that, um, maybe I'll just leave it bare metal. Not sure yet. But, um, so yeah, so now I have to find a pattern, like something squarish, 
um, that probably like, it doesn't have to fill this whole area. Maybe I could put it on the inside with some sort of trim. But this one I think will be a really fun one to um, find something to go in and then figure out how I'm gonna like finish it out. But yeah, so that was like my other find. Um, or like I was thinking it would be a great needle minder holder, needle minder holder too. So I don't know yet. <laughs> Depends on what I'm taping. Um, tempted to do, but yeah, sorry. Um, the puppies are running around. I can hear them playing and, um, Jazz just came running in here. So yeah, and it was good. My husband, um, did really good taking care of them while I was gone. So now that just proves that I can leave them alone and they'll be fine without me. So, um, so yeah, so the next thing I'll just share a little bit of stash. I honestly didn't go too crazy while I was at home. Um, mostly when I was um, shopping, I was looking for some dog patterns and then a couple other patterns that were on my wish list. So the first one I'll share, um, I stitched this pattern when I do my finishes parade. I have a picture of, um, I stitched this a long time ago. It's Lizzie Kate's um, Love My Dog. And, um, but I'll, obviously I'll add an S on the end and then put both of their names on it. But um, I picked up some um, like light blue um, Joblin fabric and I think I'm going to stencil some little white bones on there. So um, I'm actually going to do a tutorial on this one to how I like cut the stencils and um, stuff like that, but it'll be similar um, to the one that I did. It was I think way back in the like either late 90s or like early 2000s, but um, but yeah, so um, that one will be a, a good one to, to do a tutorial on. And then next, um, I did picked up. Um, I'm a huge fan of you and I and friends, and so I'm always looking to add to my collection. I have a lot that I need to stitch from them. So, but every time I see ones that I don't have, it's too hard to not pass up. So, um, so the first one I got was Primitive Hair. It's really hard to see the picture on the cover, but it says hair. It has like the ABCs and then hair with a carrot and then a little bunny on the bottom. So that one will be a cute one for next Easter. And then the other one I picked up, um, I haven't stitched anything for Jazz yet. So I think this is the one I'm gonna do for her. And it says um, bone on the bottom, but where it says bone underneath the little dog, I think I'm gonna stitch Jazz's name. So, but I just think that one's really cute. So and then maybe change the colors to make it look more like her, but um, it's kind of similar, kind of bulldog looking, so. And then the last one that I picked up was, um, so whenever we take Sam to the vet, um, we never tell him that he's going to the vet. We always say, we're going to go visit Tony. And um, Tony is his vet tech, and he loves Tony. When he sees Tony, he jumps up and he gives Tony a hug. He puts his arms right over his shoulders and licks him and loves all over him. So, yeah. So, and we love Tony just as much as, as Sam does. So, um, I picked up this one. I think what I'm going to do is do something similar to the, the cover. But this is from Imaginating, and it's um, Dog Treats. But um, I think I'm just going to stitch like one of these dogs with the little dog house and then do something similar to this jar. Not sure yet, um, but I saw this one and I was like, oh yeah, I got to get this. Um, and this would be even cute too later if you just stitch some of the dogs by themselves because the way that they're positioned, um, you can almost do that. So yeah, so I was excited to get some, some new dog patterns to add to the collection. And then... Um, the last three that I got, I'm always looking to add to my Mosey Me collection. Um, so the first one that I picked up was um, Two Hearts. And I like this one because it's a bear and a heart, but there's like a little beehive down here at the bottom. So that's the one I'm going to stitch out of here. The other one's cute too, but that's the one I wanted was the one with the, the beehive. So yeah. And then the last two are both rabbits. And um, this one I absolutely love. I can't wait to stitch this one. It's called Rufus the Rabbit. And... Um, it's really cute and it's like a rabbit holding a carrot that's kind of like a balloon. So, and I'm going to even um, frame it similar to like what's on the cover. Um, I'll wait and see, but that one's so cute. And the other one is Jack the Rabbit. And he's um, like holding a little top hat like he's a magician rabbit. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get to these. But I have a whole bunch of Mosey me Santas that need to get done or get started by Christmas. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I need to stop adding to the stash. I think I'm going to like one of these days I'm going to cut myself off and make myself have like a few month period with no new patterns. But you know how that goes. Every time you say that um, somebody comes out with something that you have to have or somebody on Instagram stitches something from like 20 years ago that you have to go find the pattern. So you know how that is. But yeah, so one of the things I did while I was at home is I kind of... Um, uh, went through a whole bunch of um, cross-stitch magazines. And so this one, 
So I have like four that I picked out, but this one is actually from March and April of 1988. But I had to pick this one up because it has an arc in it. I don't even know how I ever missed this one, but now I have it. So I'm super excited. I'm not even sure who the, um, the designer is. It says 64. I don't think it says. But anyways, I'll link it below if it says. But yeah, so that was the first arc pattern that I found. And then, and this was from um, the World of Cross Stitching. It's a UK magazine. Um, I found another Noah's Ark, so that one's super cute. Um, that water looks like it's going to be a lot of work, but um, I really like the colors, like the soft pastels. So that'll be a fun one to add to my collection of someday, right? And then this one I couldn't pass up. This was also from the World of Cross Stitching. This was from, oh, I can't tell what issue. Oh, issue 223. Um, but we have Christmas stockings. Um, I do the shepherd's bush stockings. So every year I'm always stocking shepherd's bush. I think I've mentioned this before that I will die when shepherd's bush stops making stockings because every year I can't wait for the new one to come out. But um, um, they, since they, they're more like people and not animals, I think I'm gonna use the same kind of fabric. So I use the, I think it's 10 count Tula that I stitched the shepherd's bush, stock, shepherd's bush stockings on. But I found this pattern in there, and it's um, a little dog. So I think I'm going to stitch those um, on the same fabric, but use like the lettering that Shepherd's Bush um, uses so that they kind of look like ours, but they're for the dogs. And then kind of just do their own coloring and stuff like that. So um, that way we can all have stockings. I know I <laughs> turned into the crazy dog lady, but I don't care. <laughs> I love them. And then this one is, the last magazine is Stitcher's World from May 2001. And I got it for two reasons. So on the first, um, there's the Cute as a Bug. And those were from Birds of a Feather. Sorry, I just wanted to double check to make sure. But yeah, so they um, have all kinds of cute stuff in here. But I also picked it up for, um, this is from Sandy Jenkins. It's a beehive purse. And oh my gosh, I love it. I'm not sure how I never ever saw this, but I don't think I ever um, subscribed to this magazine. But yeah, so so look, that's it really for like stash. That's all I I kind of um, didn't go crazy, even though like you know sometimes when you have money to burn, but um, I don't have money to burn per se. <laughs> but I had a little bit of birthday money, and so um, I was kind of conservative. I was just like, oh, I'll just get a few things, but I need to be conservative because probably like anybody else. Yeah, I, somebody on Instagram said the other day, I added it up and I have to live to be 223 to finish all the projects that I have right now. So, but yeah, so we're at that point. So I get to share my two finishes. So the first finish that I have this week, this was from one of the Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issues. And I'll link the um, issue below if you're looking for it. But it was from one of the annual cross stitch ornaments. And it's from... Um, uh, it's probably their sisters and best friends or Amy Bruken. Um, I'll look and see. Like, I don't remember which year it was from. But it's the um, a snowman. So what I did was, this was actually a frame that I picked up at TJ Maxx for $2. There was a whole bunch of them on clearance. And they're kind of like um, slanted. And then um, I ended up, I just carved a little um, flower that's similar to the flower up on his hat. So I like snowmen, but I don't want to always frame them so that they're just that I can have him up in the winter. So he'll just be cute sitting up on a shelf, like waiting for summer, waiting for winter. But yeah, so I like how that one turned out. And like I said, it'll just sit right here on the tabletop or on a shelf or wherever. So yeah, so that one came out really cute. And I have a couple more, I picked up a couple more frames that I'm gonna do something similar to that um, with a couple more of these smalls because I have tons of things that I stitch up small like that and I've just never done anything with them. So. Yeah, so the last one that I have is from Barbara Anna, and this was from her stitch along called Garden of Dreams. So this is how it came out, and what I ended up doing on this one, um, and at first I was going to paint these on, but if you can see like close up, I kind of use like these little branches that are up here, but I wood burn them. So um, my wood burner though, I need to get one of those more professional wood burners because the one I have, the handle gets really hot, so you have to hold it awkwardly. You can't hold it like a pen. So it's not, the lines aren't really perfect on this, but one day I'll invest in a like professional grade wood burner. But I really like how the, um, like the look of it, when you see it up close um, versus it being painted on. I tried painting it on at first and it didn't look good. So I wiped it all off and that, and then I just did some carved like 3D flowers that are kind of similar to the, um, uh, 
like flowers that are down here at the bottom of the thing. So yeah, so it's really kind of subtle, but I really like how it turned out. So yeah, so this is from Barbara Anna Garden of Dreams. So very happy about that one. So yeah, so now I just got to start organizing and hanging up all this stuff. I have stuff kind of everywhere, but yeah. So un unfortunately, that's about it this week. Um, this week's going to be a busy week. I have a lot of stuff, like I said, to get framed. I'm going to be filming some stuff and I have to finish editing all those tutorials and piecing them together and stuff like that. Um, but yes, so first up next week, I'm doing the Whip and UFO Parade and then um, followed by a finishes parade. So, and I'll start sharing some of the stuff on Instagram this weekend and stuff like that. So, yeah, so hopefully after this week, I won't have to go two weeks without like filming or showing like something or other. Um, I'm gonna try and like step it up and then also like put back on my designing shoes. And there, I have a lot of things in my head and um, I'm also gonna start redoing some of my old patterns from like, like the late um, 2000s, um, like that 2008, 2010, I was doing a little designing, but um, start republishing those patterns and getting them like reworked and reframed because um, I kind of moved in a different direction. So yeah, so some exciting stuff coming up, but yeah, that I can't wait to share. So thanks for watching again today. Um, again, like if you're able to help me out um, with my birthday fundraiser for This Is Houston, um, one of two ways, um, just you can donate just a dollar um, or whatever. Or, um, like I said, later today, um, I'll have a link up to, in the community tab, um, and below in the, in the, um, comments too, I'll put it, um, that if you want to, um, change some stash for cash, I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever I have to do to meet my goal. So once again, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend, and happy stitching. Bye!